Once we've added content to our content library and we have our notebook created already, the students are now ready to pull content from the content library into their own notebook. The way in which a student would do that is they're going to open up their notebook initially through Office 365, and this will be demonstrated in another video, and they're going to see their notebook, and it's going to look very similar to this teacher one that I'm viewing right now. So as the teacher, I see Collaboration Space Content Library, and I see all my students. But let's say we pretend this is just Steve Jackson. Steve Jackson would see these two sections here, and then only his notebook. He will not see any of the other students in the class notebook. So let's say at the beginning of class, we ask our students to open up their technology test notebook and go into the content library. And you want them to go into the Office 365 tab, and you want them to take the first page, moving folders to OneDrive. So what Steve Jackson is going to do is he's going to click on the content library, which we're already in, and we know that we're in here because it says it right underneath the name of the notebook. We go into Office 365, we see the page, and there's two ways of doing it. They can either right click on it so they get this menu, or if they're using a touch screen, they can actually physically tap their finger on it and hold their finger down on it until that square appears, and once they let go, they will get the same menu options and they will select move or copy. What they will then do, and this looks a little confusing because I have a lot of notebooks, but they're going to look for their name. So we can see right here, we're in the content library, here's Steve Jackson. Again, he wouldn't see anybody else but him. He would click on the plus, say, plus sign next to his name, and as a teacher, you would tell the students which section of their notebook you want them to put it in. So let's say this refers to class notes. So once I click on class notes, they only have the ability to click copy. Move will not even be an option for them. When we click copy, it is now in Steve Jackson's notebook. Now, how do we know that? Because we are still living in the content library. We're not actually in Steve Jackson's notebook. So let's make sure that Steve Jackson did this correctly. So if we click on this green arrow, I'm going to navigate back to the home page, and I'm going to go into Steve Jackson's notebook. And we're going to, right now we are in class notes and you can see here right underneath this blank page is the page that I just copied over. Now that Steve Jackson has copied this over into his own notebook, he is able to click anywhere on the screen and he can type and he can add notes or he can use the drawing toolbar and with a stylus or with his finger he can select what he wants to use and he can highlight and he can make notes and do whatever he needs to do on this because this is now in his own notebook. And as the teacher, you have access to see all of the student notebooks and see all of their notes and see whether they have moved things over and add grades and add comments as well. So this is the way students would move things over. In one of the other videos, I'm going to show you a new feature to OneNote Class Notebook that allows you as the teacher to actually push out a page from your content library ahead of time to every single one of all of your students at one click of the button. It's pretty neat. Okay, so this is just the long way for our students to do it. In the next video, I'm going to show you the quick way to do it.